Hey, bro! Come here! Me? Yeah, you! Come here and give me a hand for a second. No, man, I got a lot of stuff to do right now. Come on! Here, take this. What are you doing with this? I'm gonna start some seeds and get ready to plant. It's the middle of February, why are you starting seeds? The FedEx truck is right outside with a package for me. Ha! <laughs> you guys are funny. How did he get in here? How did you get in here? Get off my computer! <laughs> FedEx is here and they've got a surprise for me. Hey guys, it's Retired at 40. This is my new Harvest Right Geodesic Dome Greenhouse. Now I've been waiting for this for a couple days and I'm real excited to get into this and see what's in here and get it together. Well, as you can see, it's not a very nice day out, so I'm gonna take all this stuff inside and see what all comes with this. Six boxes total. These long ones, I would imagine, have the poles in them. We've got a 16 box with a star on it. I imagine this is probably the cover. And then the mystery box is not marked. This is actually the cover. Oh! Let's see what's in this one. All right, here's our instructions. Here's all our connections. They're all labeled different things, so I would imagine they would coordinate with these boxes. And it looks like some more types of connectors in here. Alright, so there's our big box of different styles of connectors. Here's all the stuff we're supposed to have, so let's sort this out and see if we've got everything. And also, just so you know, don't choose the guy with the X, don't choose the X-Man. Choose the guy that talks about ladders and tape measures and then you get a check mark. All right, so Harvest Right says you can put this together in three to five hours. I don't know if that's uh, dependent on your competency level. Hopefully, hopefully not or it's gonna take me two days. Uh, I'm gonna start a clock right now just so we know how long this is gonna take me to put this whole thing together. Ready, go. Alright, I want to make sure that I've got all these connectors that it's supposed to come with before I get started. So all of them are labeled with a different type of pole. I'm guessing they're all different lengths to make that, that dome shape. I counted all my fasteners. I've got all the fasteners. So we're going to pop these boxes open and see what we got in here. So these are all our poles. Some are color coded. These are kind of a, a, a brass color. Here, more, these are more of a bronze color. There's some with red, some with black, and then these are all the same. These are there should be 80 of these total. Uh, it shows you which lettered pole goes to what, and then it shows you what you need on each page at the bottom. There's step two. Same thing. So I'm gonna start putting this thing together. So I've already figured out that if you sort everything, it definitely is helpful. The boxes I labeled again, C, C, A, and D in that box, and B in this box. All my connectors are all separated, so all I have to do is find what I need in the picture and put it together. All right, so it goes together real easy. It's pretty much uh, like a, a tent or anything else that you've used with this kind of pole. It just has the little spring-loaded clippy do. It slides under there, and then once it's past where it needs to go, it clips back up. All right, I'm 20 minutes in. That includes unpackaging everything. We've got about 16 steps to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward to give you the quick version of this, but I'll keep the time rolling. I'm also running out of room real fast, so I'm gonna take this party outside. Step three. Step four. Step five, we're 30 minutes. Step. Six. That was a tricky one. Uh, 
I got a feeling it's gonna get tougher after this round, even more tough than it has been, because you're combining so many different colors. We're at step seven, we're at 56 minutes. This is rough on the thumbs. So a quick side note, this is where your neighbors start to think you're crazy, if they don't already think you're crazy. So we're getting down there on poles, I've only got two, about one and a half boxes full. These aluminum poles get really, really cold when it's cold out. So if you can do this in the one it's warm or sunny out. Step eight. Step nine for an hour and 22 minutes. Step 10, for an hour and a half, this thing's getting big. We're on step 11. We're at about an hour and 44 minutes, just over right now. And the last part to do with the frame is to cut out a hexagon so we can put the door shape in. So any of these gold sections in the entire globe, you just take this out, take the poles out, leave the bottom in, and that's where your door frame is gonna go in. Okay, one hour and 54 minutes and our frame is all done. And now we're on step 12. Step all right, we are all up. Look how cool this is. It's already getting warm in here, believe it or not, just from the sun setting. All right, I came out this morning to check on the greenhouse. It's still there. And I've got a friend out here today. Wiley the Coyote, one of many. Let's go see what the temperature's like inside the greenhouse. It's about 25 degrees outside, but inside here it's, uh, it's actually quite a bit warmer already just because the sun's out. And I haven't even attached any of this stuff to the ground, so there's still airflow that can move through here, but Really looking forward to getting some stuff in here. So part of step 13 is just connecting all of these after you get everything adjusted to where it needs to go all the way around. And then part of that also is making sure that your vents are lined up inside that triangle. There's the other side, there's two vents in this. Alright, so step 14 is basically getting these little flaps around this pole. Step 15, last step. Alright, so these are where your clips come into play. It says to tuck this. So I think that should be enough to do two on each. Final step is just to secure this with some sort of stake, similar to a tent stake. Uh, Harvest Strike does not give them to you. They say account for different soil types. The soil here is super hard, uh, so we need a real thick stake uh, similar to this. But you're gonna need about 15 to 20 of them and you might want to make sure that you put them in when the zipper is closed and everything is all fastened. Well, our total process took about two hours and 20 minutes. I would recommend also putting some dirt along the outside just to kind of fill some types of gaps if your ground isn't perfectly level. Uh, you can see I'm in a t-shirt in here. It's about 25 degrees outside, so I'll give you an idea what it's what it's like in here. There's already condensation building on the in inside of here, which is really cool. I can't wait to get started on this. I can't wait to make more videos on this. Question of the day is, do you have a Harvest Strike greenhouse? If you do, 
Let me know what your experience has been like with it. Smash that subscribe button if you like what you see. Ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. And give me a thumbs up if you found this content helpful. This is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.